Hey y'all, it's Ebony and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create Instagram reels, okay? A lot of people say they struggle with creating reels. They're really not hard to create at all. I am about to create one in real time. So I figured why not, you know, bring out my camera and show you guys exactly my strategy, my process to creating an Instagram reel. So first things first, we need to figure out music. So to figure out what music or sound you're gonna use, you're gonna have to actually listen to and look at Instagram reels, okay? If you're a business owner, if you're not already using a platform, you should be using the platform. You can't expect to get a lot of views on reels and how to work reels if you're not watching them yourself. So it's really easy to watch them. There is this play button down here below. You just click on it. So you just click on it and you're able to see everything that's popular or what's related to the stuff that you like on Instagram is gonna pop up. So for instance, this wig has been going viral. You can hear the song. So this is gonna be a popular song. I've been hearing it a lot. I like the way it sounds, so I'm gonna save it. So to save the song, you just click on it. And then right here at the top, you click save audio. You can even see um, how many reels have been created with that audio. So this is 4,000. And then you can see how many views other people are getting. So it looks like, hmm, it looks like a lot of people are between 1,000 to 5,000, but we have some people way up here at the top that has that have really done well, 200K, 500K, and these all are like hair related videos. So this would be a good reel to use if you're in the hair industry because obviously beauty, hair, clothing, all of that is being used with, with this sound. So we're gonna save it. Click save audio. And then we're just gonna keep scrolling to save other sounds. And, and, and let me say this. When it comes to my brand, I'm gonna promote it. That's on period. <laughs> And, and, and let me say okay so that's a good one i would say for business owners because we all have brands that we're creating so you just hit save audio so you're gonna keep doing that and, and. first thing i'm gonna do when i pop at me honey i see you look honey all right so now we're gonna start creating the real what i'm gonna do first is i am going to select one of the saved sounds so you just click on the music icon i did that kind of fast the music icon over here you click on it and then you click save at the top and now it's going to show all of the saved sounds that you have. If you ever forget what it sounds like, you can just click on it on the side to hear it. So you'll click on the play button. All right. So this is the one that I'm choosing. So I'm going to hit done. Okay, so it tells you you can record up to 21 seconds. You can only record or add video footage up to um, how long the audio is. So I'm going to start adding videos. So down here at the bottom, I'm going to hit the plus sign, the blue plus sign. And I'm going to add the first video, okay? I keep all of my stuff organized in albums on my phone. This is my wig making album. It just makes it easier for content creation. And now I'm gonna start clicking on videos that I wanna add. Now let me lower my volume so y'all can hear me talk. But now I am going to edit the clip 
to match up with the words of the song. So it says, go Cinderella, go Cinderella. So after it says the either the first or the second Cinderella, I'm going to trim it. So to trim a clip, all you have to do is just drag the white sides over. Okay? So let me listen to it with the music. Go Cinderella, go Cinderella. All right. So right here. Go Cinderella. All right, so now I'm going to click add at the top. So add at the top corner up here. And now I'm going to add the second clip. So it's going to be this one. And then I'm just going to trim it to match up with the music and I'm going to keep doing that. After I trim it, click add and then add the next clip, okay? Gonna keep adding clips. And I'm just gonna continue to drag it. Sorry if I was off camera, but I'm just dragging it to match up with the song. And, and then I am going to add the final video. And then I'm going to put add and then now we're going to hit preview so we can preview so we can see what it looks like. Okay. All together with the clips and with the song. So let me kind of lower the volume so you guys can hear what I'm going to do next. So next what I like to do, I either do a voiceover or I let the um, automated voice talk for you. So I'm going to do the automated voice, okay? So let's say um, I want the text to actually speak for itself. So right here at the top where it has the A, A. Um, you'll type in what you want it to say. So, um, customer wig revamp. And then you can change your font to look however you want it to look. Okay. I think y'all know how to do that. So customer wig revamp. And basically what you would do, you can change where at in the video you want it to show. So at the very bottom, it's going to have a text bubble. You just click on it or click. Yeah, you just click on it and then you're able to drag where you want the text to stop and when you don't want it to show anymore. So let's say I want it to show at the very beginning and I want it to stop here. Right? So it's only going to show the text at that moment of time. And then I'm going to hit done. And then let's say I wanted to add something else. I'll put um, customer. Um, so she wanted wand curls. I'm actually going to do a voiceover, but I want to just show you guys how this would work. Okay. So I'm going to click on the bubbles at the bottom. She wanted wand curls and I'm going to drag it to where when I want it to um, pop up on the screen. She wanted wine curls. So basically to make the automated voice talk, you're gonna click on the text bubble, 
hit the black dots, so the black, the three dots on the side, and click text to speech. You have two different voices. I always choose voice one because it's the lady. And I'm going to hit done and I'm going to do the same thing to the other one. So let me turn my volume back up so y'all can hear. So what's happening now is the music is overpowering the automated voice. So what you're going to do up here at the top, click on the music. And then right here where you added the sound, just lower it, lower it so that you can actually hear the automated voice some. Okay. So let me turn my volume up. Customer wig revamp. She wanted warm curls. So you see how you can hear the automated voice more clearly. So all you have to do next is you'll just click next and you'll write your caption. You'll pick your cover photo. All right. So it's going to take you to this screen and all you have to do is just drag it at the bottom to whatever point you want it to show as like the main cover. I know people always like to see something in action, something that's going to spark their curiosity. So I like to always either show my hands styling or like a product because it always made people say, oh, what's that? Like, oh, what, what is this? Let me watch this, right? So I either choose something like this, or if I'm physically styling it and you can see my hands in the frame, I would show my hands physically styling the unit, or I'll just show like the finished product. So whatever you want it to be, because this is a behind the scenes look, it's probably something like this, either this one or this one. So whatever you choose, you'll hit done at the top corner and then also crop the profile image. Okay. That way, you know, you, you get the right frame for your Instagram feed, the aesthetic, and then you will write your caption and share it. Okay. Add your, um, hashtags if you want to and share it. But like I said, I actually, I'm actually going to do a voiceover. So I'm going to delete this custom text down here. So click on the three dots and hit delete because I feel like it just adds more to your brand when they actually hear your actual voice. So I'm going to do a voiceover. So to do that, you click on the sound button at the top and then at the bottom, you click voiceover and you will just you can hit play and stop it once uh oh y'all didn't see that let me drag it back over you'll hit play and stop it in the areas where you want to begin speaking so i, I never start speaking at the very beginning of the video i always wait like a second or two so i paused it and now i'm gonna hold down on this while i record my voiceover so, um, <clears throat> I'm trying to figure out what I want to say. Hey y'all. So I'm doing a wig revamp on my client's unit. It was kinky curly, but she wanted wine curls. Let me know how y'all think I did. All right. I don't really like that voice over y'all. <laughs> so if you don't like it, you just delete it by pushing this, um, the little backspace button and then discard. So we're going to start over. Hey y'all. So I'm, I think I'm going to say something like, Hey y'all, this is a rig, a wig revamp from my client. This was a kinky curly wig. I added wine curls. Tell me what you think. That's what I'm going to say. Okay. <clears throat> hey y'all. So this is a wig revamp for a customer. It was a kinky curly wig, but she wanted wine curls. How did I do? All right. So I'm going to hit done. 
Let me turn it up. It's too loud, the music. So we're gonna bring this down some more. Hey y'all, so this is a wig revamp for a customer. It was a kinky curly wig, but she wanted wine curls. How did I do? Hey y'all, so this is a wig revamp for a customer. It was... And I'm gonna add ticks too. Wig revamp with wand curls. So I'm just dragging where the text, where I, when I want the text to um, show up. That's a key curly wig, but she wanted wand curls. How did. All right. Hey y'all, so this is a wig revamp for a customer. It was a kinky curly wig, but she wanted wine curls. How did I do? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and post that. Oh my gosh, this wig is so cute, y'all. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna choose the cover and add like a caption. But as I'm doing that, you guys, I do wanna talk about a couple things. A lot of people wanna know what's the best sounds to use, but obviously, honestly, the best sound is always gonna be the popular sounds that that show up uh, whenever you're watching the reels yourself. So those are always gonna be popular sounds. Also, another thing, um, people were asking how do you transfer your reel over to different platforms? So I'm going to show you how to do that with Facebook. But I will say what I create, I can't type and talk at the same time, y'all. <laughs> but I will say, um, what do I want to say? And why didn't it change my cover? Okay, it's loading. I will say that for TikTok, I do create... Um, my TikToks differently, but for Facebook, I it does give you the option to save and then upload it. You just have to add the music and voiceover again if you're using a copyrighted sound. But yeah, let me go ahead and put the caption and stuff and post it. And then I'm going to show you guys how to um, post it on Facebook as well. So this is a little behind the scenes of a recent wig revamp. This was a kinky curl. All right. Wig. I so at baby hairs I'm muting this. I, I'm not going to lie, y'all. I did go back and redo my voiceover. <laughs> but, um, basically what you can do to transfer this over to Facebook you're gonna click on the three dots here on the side and you're gonna click save to camera roll so usually if you use a copyrighted sound it will save but it will not have any sound to it so you would have to add the sound back but this isn't copyrighted so all you have to do is go to Facebook and click on reels and create a reel and go to your album and select hey y'all so this is a little the reel of a recent wig revamp this was a kinky curly wig i changed the part at baby hairs and wine curls how does it look all right and then all i'm gonna do is i'm gonna come back over here click edit and copy and paste my caption. Now, Facebook doesn't give as many options. It also don't allow you to add spaces in between each line, which sucks. Um, and it doesn't allow you to, to change the cover. It doesn't give me the option. But once you do that, you just click share real. So that's going to post. And then with TikTok, I guess I'm going to go ahead and show y'all what I would do on TikTok. So go to TikTok. Rate this dress on a scale. So on TikTok, we are going to need to add um, sounds. So obviously that one's popular. So add to favorites. What in the teeth sweat is you have to actually watch them and just whatever sound sounds good to you, you add it. Because I'm 82, a lot of people. Okay, 
now. Let me do this voiceover real quick. My I asked my bro to do that look alike. Show yourself doing 20 to top. Hey, y'all. So I'm going to tell y'all about the time. I so, yeah, I'm at the club. Listen, it killed me whenever. I feel like Corbin Blue in this bitch. Just because you don't see it. <laughs> That's funny. All right, we're just gonna use this one. All right, I added it to my favorites, but you can always click use sound at the bottom too. Um, I'm just gonna click use sound, and then oh, y'all can see me. <laughs> um. Our video is longer than 15 seconds, so we're going to add 60 seconds, and then we're going to upload. Hey, y'all. So, this is a little behind the scenes of a recent wig revamp. This was a kinky curly wig. I changed the part at Baby Hair. So, I'm going to click next. Hey, y'all. So, this is a little behind the scenes of a recent wig revamp. This was a kinky curly wig. I changed the part at Baby Hair. All right, so what I did was, because the sounds on Instagram and Facebook is not the same sounds that's going to be popular here on TikTok, so I went ahead and removed the sound by clicking volume, and then the original sound, I dragged it all the way over. And then what I would have to do is add another voiceover, so I'm going to click voiceover. I'm going to drag it to where I want to start it. And then I'm just going to record the voiceover. Hey, y'all. This is Ebony. This is a little behind the scenes of a recent wig revamp for a customer. This was a kinky curly wig, but I added a little something extra to it. Tell me how I did. All right. We're going to hit save. All right. We got it change the volume so the edit sound drag it down so we can actually hear me talk this is a little behind the scenes of a recent wig revamp for a customer this was a key curly wig but i added a little something extra to it tell me how i did hey recent i'm not gonna lie y'all this is not the best sound <laughs> It just doesn't mesh well. So let's see. Um, I clicked on sounds. I'm going to click on favorites. And we're just going to choose something else. I'm going to use this one. This one is better. Hey, y'all. This is Ebony. This is a little behind the scenes of a recent wig revamp for a customer. This was a key curly wig, but I added a little something extra to it. Temp All right. So select the cover. And I'm just going to write just some regular. Tell me how I did. And um, hashtags. I just always... You can use whatever they have right here at the bottom. It'll tell you like which ones are hot right now. So I just click on one of those and then I'll also click on wig. So hashtag wig um, install or wig tutorial, something like that. Just something, uh oh, I don't know what the heck I just typed. Just something wig related. Lace wig. And then I just post it to my page. Uh oh. And then I just hit post. And then you just wait for the views to come in. But yeah, this is it. If you guys have any additional questions, I can make a part two to this video. Um, just let me know. But I hope this has been helpful.